Hello guys, welcome back. So this is going to be day 18. I did day 18 this morning before the World Cup. So I didn't record it. I just got through it because I wanted to make sure I got it done right when it came out. But then I watched the World Cup and then I got busy. And then I'm getting to this now. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you're returning, welcome back. So in this video, in this challenge, it's about Sigma. Sigma is a threat detection application, sort of like Splunk or maybe my, if you know Microsoft Sentinel and all those cool applications, we can set up rules to detect from the adversaries or from the bad guys. So as you can see in the attacks scenario, and it, I did say this is day 18, right? Yeah, I'm sure I did. If I didn't, I'd set it now. So the first one is uh, account creation. Second one is software discovery. The third one is a scheduled task. We just have to add these detections to make sure everything is good to go. So if we, you know, chop logs with Sigma rules, okay? So we can just go through, you know, Sigma is an open source uh, generic signature language, right? So we can pretty much query, we can set up uh, queries, we can set up different little techniques to have this detect on whatever we want it to detect on, right? So it makes it easier to perform content matching based on collected rules to raise, you know, threat alerts for the SOC, right? For an, an analyst to investigate. So, you know, say for example, you have a SIM tool like Splunk, you look into say, for example, Pat creates a domain admin account, he was not supposed to add one and, you know, the SOC detected that, the blue team detected that and says, hey, Pat, why are you adding a domain admin? You shouldn't be doing that. Oh, sorry. So at least if they have that created, that rule set, it will detect on those DA accounts created. I'm just making something up, right? I'm just using that as an example. So you can see the rule syntax, title, required, status, required, description, author, reference, etc. Okay, like a log source, uh, detection, the condition, false positive, the level, etc. So with that being said, if we continue going down, we can see different uh, examples like suspicious local account creation, uh, an ID, um, experimental, etc. The status. So you know, you can see the log sources, Windows, the operating system is Windows, the, the service is security, the event log is obviously whatever this event log is. In this case, it's cr account creation, so it's 4720, and the condition is selection, All right? So yeah, this is pretty much what we're gonna be doing in, these, uh, in this video today. So the activity, we have uh, software discovery, job creation, and the first one, it, I already, like I said, I already did it, but we're not going to go over the answers quite yet because we're going to find the answers as we go. All right, so on the attack box, which this is my attack box, we're going to browse out. We can actually click on this as well because I am VPNed in, as you can see here. I am VPNed in up here. So we are good to go. So what we're going to do, I want to actually open up over here as well. So we can just have it side by side. I think my monitor is wide enough to have that instead of toggling. It is easier than when I did the challenge, I did it everything. I did everything on this screen just because it's wider and it's, you know, it's easier to see the real estate. So let's go ahead and just browse out to that IP address. So my IP address in this case is 10.10.66.38. So as you can see here, this is a little smaller. So what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and probably do it on this screen. So it'll be a little easier. Okay. So the first one is account creation. So let's get, let's get to it. So the first one here, uh, suspicious account creation, create the rule. Okay. So for my, uh, for my rule, my title, 
I want to go ahead and just come back here. And let's just go down. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. I hope it works. Paste, perfect. And then a UID, I can just get this ID, copy this, paste it here. Like I said, I'm just gonna go about what I did this morning. And the status is experimental, as it says here. So let's just go ahead and just take everything out, boom. All right, so the description, did I have a description? Yep, detail, I'm just gonna throw this description in there. Copy this, paste it, computer with the R at the end. All right, cool. So the author, I don't see any author, data modified. So well, if we come back, we can see the product in, is Windows and the security is the service. So let's go ahead and do that. So Windows, and then security here. Oops, security. Okay, so everything else, um, the category is okay, description is okay. The selection, we have to add something in the selection. So let's go ahead and do that now. So selection, we're gonna do, whoops. Oh geez, what happened here? Okay, so what we're gonna do here is selection is going to be, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I believe the selection, let me, let me go back here. The selection is going to be event ID. Okay, perfect. So event ID, all right, so let's go ahead, event ID, okay? And the event ID is going to be 4720 in our case, right? So 4720. I think that should be it. Let's go, I think that should be it for account creation. Let's go ahead and hit run. And bada bing, bada boom, we have the first flag. The first flag is THM, not your, not just your user. Okay, we copy this, we come down and we paste that into the number one, which I already did. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to number two. Second question is from the challenge one log, what is the user account that was created. So if we hit the, the view the log, the, the, the account that was created is Bandit Yeti Mini. Okay, so this is the SAM account. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go to challenge two. So let's go ahead and create rule for number two. And number two is suspicious, uh, uh, suspicious software discovery. Okay, so I don't believe we need a title. I don't think so, but we can. Let's just do that for just to make sure, right? I think that'll be a little, a little, uh, let's just do software discovery for an example. Okay, so my UID, I don't, I don't think there has to be any ID uh, for this because this is, there's no user. So this is just, a suspicious software discovery. So what we're gonna do is come down to product and log source and then product, let's go ahead and take out this because it's gonna be Windows. Windows and then the service is going to be Sysmon, I believe. Let me just make sure. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go back up. Uh, creation, service name, yep, yeah, Sysmon. Okay, cool, just wanted to make sure. So Windows, and then we're gonna go ahead and put Sysmon, so let's whack all this. Okay, and then the category is going to be process creation. So let's just go ahead and put that. Process creation should be good there. Detection is okay. Selection. I'm going to go ahead and put a selection here. Whoop. Ah. Just delete this. So my selection is going to be event ID, as you can see here. The event ID, 
right here, image, command line, strings, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put event ID, okay? And then my event ID is going to be one, okay? Now let's go back, what's going on here? Okay, oh, what the heck just happened? What just happened? Okay, so here, okay, so the event ID is going to be one, okay? And then what we have to do is the image ends with, as you can see, if we come down here, um, yeah, right here. So this is where I got the information from, right? So this is, so we're gonna do, image, uh, excuse me, event ID one, and then we're gonna hit enter, and then we're gonna put image, image ends with, and in our case, what we're gonna have this end with is, let's go ahead, let me put tab, okay. And then we'll do sketch task, right? If I can spell task.exe, that's going to be what we're what we're working with, member. And then we are going to have this command line, and then we're going to pipe. And if we remember, it's contains pipe all. Okay, and then we are going to have this on. Um, sketch tasks, right? Like, because then we just need the application. So if we remember, if we come back up here for number two, we want to have it as a schedule task, right? So let's go ahead. Whoops, let's go back here. And we're going to do sketch tasks. And then we have to create it. And I think that should be it. Let's go ahead and hit number two. Reg.exe. Did I miss something? Process create. Rules to generic. See, did I miss something? Am I looking at the wrong one? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm looking at schedule task and I'm supposed to be doing software discovery. That's my bad. All right, so <laughs> software discovery and I'm actually, I was reading the wrong one. So that's my bad. All right, so let's go back and fix some of this stuff. So, it's not schedule tasks, it is the reg.exe. It is late and I'm ready for bed. All right, so let's, instead of task, task, I think it's the last one. I'm gonna do reg, and then we're gonna do query, Q-U-E-R-Y, and then we're gonna do slash V, And then we're gonna do sys version. Let me make sure that's, let me highlight this. So I didn't, yeah, sys version, the service version. Okay, so SVC version, SVC version. Okay, I think that should be good. Reg query, reg, uh, See if now we run it, get it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so this is the flag for number two. We can copy that, bring that down. That's my bad. This is why doing this at 8.30 at night on a, on a Sunday. So here we go. So this is number three, or this, yeah, this number three, challenge number two. So now let's go ahead. What is the user path for challenge to log files? So now we can just look at the log file and we can see it right here the parent user, sigma underscore 
um, Evernote of Cyber 2022, Bandit Yeti. And we just copy this, we paste it, and then we can have that one good to go. So now for challenge number three, now we can go ahead and create that, that rule and do challenge number three. And hopefully we get this one correct now. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that a jingle now. So the title, I can just make this uh, schedule tax creation. Let's just do that. Maybe I can verify or I can look at that and you know, see what it is. All right, so that's the title. And now what we're gonna do is look under the product, the log source and the service. So let's go ahead and do product, windows, all right, and then the service is going to be Sysmon, as you as you can recall. Let's go back up here, and let's go ahead and highlight the right one, so I know what's what we're looking at. So this is a schedule task now. So, yep, to schedule task and all that good stuff. So uh, let's go. So let's go ahead and just service is going to be Sysmon. Okay, and then the category is going to be process creation. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and copy that. Whoop, let's just come down here and copy this. Copy, paste. All right, perfect. So now what we need to do is have a detection selection, etc. So let's go ahead and just take this out now. Selection is going to be the event ID. ID and the event ID is going to be one. Okay, and then it's going to be image, and then pipe, and then ends with. Okay, and that's going to end with. What what is that going to end with, guys? So that's going to end with the schedule task because this is what we're trying to do in this one. So type schedule task. Dot exe, and now this should be correct. All right, and then now we're going to do command line. Line, pipe, and then console. Okay, and then now what we're going to do is have the what? Uh, what? Oh, man. Okay, so now what we're going to do is have schedule tasks. So sketch tasks. Okay, and the next one is going to be create. Okay, so now with that, let's go ahead and run this. And boom, we have the third flag here. Copy this, and then let's go all the way down. And then we can put that to the third flag, boom, paste it, and we should be golden. And now for the last one is what was the MD5 hash associated with challenge three logs? MD5 hash, we can look at the view, the logs, and the MD5 hash is right here, 2, F, 6, etc. cetera, ends with 6A1. Copy that bad boy and then paste it in here, and then we're finished for today. So that's pretty much the challenge for day number 18. If you guys have any questions at all, just feel free to leave it in the comments below. And until day 19 tomorrow, have a beautiful day and happy holidays, folks. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.